Guess who's fidgeting with where she keeps her books? Looks pretty good though, so. Time well spent. September 13th, 2014. Yesterday was my dad's birthday, so happy belated birthday, dad! I hope you loved the presents that I'm sure I gave you. Like a good daughter. Today on Vlogger's Choice, well, you know the drill. Vlogger's Choice, I get to talk about whatever I want to talk about, and I'm going to talk about balancing schoolwork with writing work, because that has been my cross to bear for three weeks now, and... <sighs> I'm so tired. So whether you're in high school or college or any other kind of school where you're taking lots of classes and doing homework and papers and research and... Uh, you have probably faced a similar issue that I have, which is trying to figure out how to balance all of this course load for school with still getting writing stuff done. So how do you do it? I... I don't know. I'm gonna give you the best advice that I can give you. Here we go. The most important thing is to find a balance. You don't want to do only schoolwork and then neglect your writing. And you don't want to do only writing and then fail school. Because if I fail out of college, then I've just wasted thousands of dollars to get a degree to not be able to get a degree, and then what is the point of everything? We're just stardust. We're just made of stardust, and we'll eventually return to stardust, because we all die. Who's... who's to say I'm... who... Should not have an existential crisis on camera. Moving on. When you ignore one side of your scale for the other side, the other side obviously suffers. This one, your writing's going great, but school's in the toilet. School's going great, but writing, you'll never get anything finished. So strike a balance. Make sure that you're being productive for both, which leads us on to the next stage of advice. Be productive. Don't procrastinate. You don't have time. You don't have time to procrastinate. So just sit down and get it done. Future you will thank present you even if present you really thinks that you're being a dick for making them do this. Y do you know how many essays I've written today? Two. That's besides the point. Future Erica will love present Erica for doing all this hard work because maybe she'll get to watch Netflix and eat candy. <sighs> Dream big. Figure out when you're most productive for your two tasks. If you're more productive with school in the morning, do school in the morning and writing at night. Or if the opposite is true to you, do the opposite. Maybe you'll stay up 24 hours for the next six months to get all this work done and you'll devote daylight hours to school and nighttime hours for writing. Who knows? Who knows? Whatever works for you, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just have a lot of work to do. Let's keep going. And my last bit of advice, which kind of ties into these beautiful bookshelves. Find a place where you can work and actually get stuff done. What a concept! Most of the time, I'm very bad about where I work. It's on the floor, on the couch. And when I say it's on the floor, what I really mean is I'm laying sideways with my computer sideways on the floor and it's just not a way to work. It's not the most productive thing. For me to be really productive, the best place for me to work is at a desk. And right now, in this office, I have set up a desk with all these books next to me to inspire me to get work done. There's no TV in the room, so obviously I can't be watching Netflix or TV and be super distracted. I've minimized distractions. There's not a lot in here that I can get into that isn't work. It's books on the shelves, there's a printer over there, there are windows to the outside, so it's almost like I'm in nature without having to be in horrible, awful, overheated nature. God, can it just like cool down for a day or two? Or just the humidity can tone itself down? We get it. It's hot. If you can find a place where you feel comfortable working, or even more than comfortable, if you feel motivated to work when you're in that space, fantastic! Do that! You'll be more likely to get stuff done, and isn't that what we were just talking about? 
Just get it done. Get it done now. And you don't have to do it, like, tomorrow. Or in an hour. Do it now. And you'll be finished. To be finished with work. What? A beautiful concept. Hopefully some of these things that I have suggested to you will help you be more productive in balancing schoolwork and writing work. And I hope that you're able to do both because I've got to find a way. Or, you know, like, the world could just drop out of orbit and nothing would matter anymore. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh my god, I need to get more sleep. This Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are having another live chat. You know how those things go. Fantastically. They're a lot of fun. The topic we will be discussing will be in the description below, so check that out and make sure to tune in. Until then, I love you nerds. I will see you Sunday. I've got to go do some work before I have a full mental breakdown. Yeah. Organizing these bookshelves at midnight last night seemed like a productive use of my time.